What is the correct pronoun to use there? I genuinely wonder and would like to respect them. The real NV87, the blind NV87, the NV87 who doesn't care what the screen looks like. Mm. I am literally going to have to pull together $2.50. I have tickets that need to be used, but I thought they were in my purse. They may still be. Maybe they're hiding, like, behind envelopes or whatever. But quite frankly, I don't have the time to rip stuff apart trying to find them. It's literally... Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.26 a.m. Literally 10 minutes. T-minus 10 minutes before that ride is expected in my parking lot driveway right in front of my building wherever the hell it pulls up and there is not time for anything once that vehicle shows up where it's supposed to be my ass needs to be out there it doesn't have to be out there when the ride shows up but it has to be out there within five minutes and five minutes disappears really fast that's really frustrating I really would like to get these tickets used because I don't have very much more time to use them What's happening is there's we they're switching over to this reloadable card and I do have one but I haven't started using it yet because you, you use all the tickets, you use all the punch cards and then you start using that. And I would like to use the tickets getting used, but frankly, I have no time to find them today. Oh my god, I got so much editing to do. I didn't even ah uh. I started as a driving me crazy. Hold on. I don't need that on. I started the driving me crazy thing last week, and I haven't even edited the second episode yet, and I haven't even created the third and fourth. I know what I'm going to do. The third's going to be... Like a lighter side to the whole thing. And then the fourth is going to be just me sitting here saying... As far as I know, we haven't had Drive Me Crazy for a while. Full disclosure, I haven't even been watching for the past week or two. And I want to talk about the reason why. If this doesn't put a smile on your face, what does? Mwah. Let's well, suspend it a month after it started on a good note. And that's a suspension, not a... That's the end of that. You know, it'll be back. I just didn't feel like creating a whole bunch of others. And... It's going to be the first of the year or later before we get new material. The host is on leave, and if someone was going to go on leave... There is no better reason than what's going on with him. You'll find out about that three weeks from now. In the meantime, this really needs to... I've either got a long ass drive ahead of me or right ahead of me. He's got a long ass drive. He or she. The driver's got a long ass drive. I've got a long ass ride ahead of me, or else I'm gonna get there really early. Either way, it's okay as long as the driver knows where he's going. I keep saying he. It could be a she as well, or it could be a whatever. I don't want this to sound bad. I just honest to God, do not know. People that don't think of themselves as a him or a her, what is the correct pronoun to use there? I genuinely wonder and would like to respect them. Because to call them it, unless I hear someone who affiliates as that say, call me it, I will not call them it. I think that is the most disrespectful way to say, I don't know or care to know what the hell it's like to be transsexual 
transgendered that human nature has created. And I'm sorry if that sounded bad, but like I said, I think that it is just completely disrespectful. And even though I don't understand, you know, even though I've always been a woman, I've always been okay with that, there are some people who are not so at peace with the body they live in and even either literally go through surgery to change it or just say, I know I look like a man, but think of me as a woman, please. I sound like a man, but think of me as a woman. I live as a woman. I am a woman. I'm going to get there hella early is how it's going to happen. I got out here, connected with the guy right away. He's like, you're going to get there really early. I was like, yeah, I was wondering if you had a long drive ahead of you or I had a really early work day ahead of me. And he's like, no, you're, you're going straight there. Are you going to be okay with that? Do you want to cancel it? I'm like, cancel it and do what? Take an Uber in at 9 o'clock? Use the last of my Uber cash on getting an Uber into work today because I don't like the fact that I'm getting there that early. No, I'll just take it. <laughs> I didn't word it exactly like that, but what I said was, no, I don't have the Uber cash to take an Uber in there and back. I seriously, there's a 50-50 chance. I didn't tell him this, but there's seriously a 50-50 chance. I told you this earlier that I'm going to have to take a Uber home. So I'm going to get there hella early. That's okay, I'll just spend a lot of time in the break room, I guess. <laughs> no problem. This is the way it brings stuff to do. Well, he warned me. It's literally 8.10 and I'm just now, <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'm going to have like over an hour, like, no, more like an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, well. That's way better than being 40 minutes late. I'm actually going to start work already, and I don't know if I'm going to take two hours of overtime and get through the whole day, or say, you know what, it's 1.15, I've been here since 8. Circumstances just happened, the circumstances happened, I'm out of here. Time will tell. Since there was a 50% chance I would have to take Uber anyway, if I do decide to take Uber, that is an advantage of taking Uber. I can decide, you know, I can go wherever the hell I want, whenever the hell I want, if I can afford it and if I can make it happen. That's the most convenient way to do it. All right, I might be repeating myself, but I ended up starting work really early. I got here really early, early enough to be here for the, like, team meetings that have started happening every day. But they happen so early in the morning that under normal circumstances, I never could make it to one of these things. But door-to-door -door transit got me here so freaking early that I was able to attend the one today. But that left me clocking in at like 8.15 and I could have stayed till 3, you know, I would have been allowed to, but I started yawning and I was like, okay, this is my body trying to tell me don't try to be freaking mega awesome, just be good enough. <laughs> So I'm going to get an Uber home. I had a potential ride that might have been able to take me home if I would have stuck it out till 3, but even she said, call me half an hour before your shift is supposed to end, and I'll let you know if I'm available. I'm like, I'm not going to wait that long. I'll just get an Uber. So I'll probably see when I get home. I'm not going to vlog the whole next half an hour of trying to get an Uber and getting home. I'll probably just get home and close out the vlog, but I'll see you at home. 2.04 p.m. and I'm at home. This never happens. <laughs> unless it's a Thursday. <laughs> or unless I am not feeling well and I go home sick or something, which has only happened like once. But I could ramble forever in a decade, but I think there's nothing else to say on this particular day in this particular vlog. So thank you for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, or if you must, on Facebook. Check out the description below for services and petitions that I believe in. And I'll see you in the next video when you hear what I have to say.